I would just like to start off this video by giving a huge thank you to EA Sports for making this video possible. <laughs> Yo, what is going on everybody? This is RBT and welcome back to some more Madden 19 Ultimate Team exclusive gameplay here on the channel as today I am going to be taking on Go On Volt. I will leave a link to his Twitter description box below if you guys don't know who Volt is. But this is the team I am rocking with in today's gameplay. Some different cards than what you've seen in the gameplays thus far. You've seen some crazy like full legends and some team diamonds and crazy stuff. They still have some pretty crazy cards but not as crazy. We have all the legends completely powered up but we also have some team veterans. We have some of the flashback cards. And a pretty good mix of cards, but still a very good team. But it's not going to be the complete, like, best team that you can get an ultimate team at the beginning. But, like, if you still get a team like this within the first few weeks, um, I don't know how you did it. You, you worked some type of miracle, but it still is going to be an incredible team. But hopefully you guys are enjoying the Madden 19 content. And if you are, make sure to drop a big thumbs up. Let's see if we can smash 2,000 likes for today's video. Be sure to subscribe if you are new. And turn on the notification bell if you haven't. So you not miss any more of the plenty of Mad 19 content videos that are going to be coming to the channel very, very soon. But with that said, getting into the game. Third down to six to start off the ball game. We do have the ball first. We're going to hit the drag route. That is going to be Antonio Brown, which you have not seen yet on the channel. And if you get the Hall of Fame edition in pre-order of the game, you get a nat version of 89 overall Antonio Brown for absolutely free. So that's pretty sick. A pretty sick card to have to start off at the beginning of ultimate team but moving the ball here 29 yard line second down and seven getting close to the end of the first quarter i'm gonna scramble and get hit first time i freaking get hit with steve and i fumble i was i was kind of sad but he also has steve at quarterback his steve's not powered up and his first pass is going to be a user lurk interception so we get the ball right back so pretty crazy game already two drives two turnovers but hopefully this time since I am on the plus side of the field I can actually put up points and take the lead because I did not want to lose in back-to-back -back gameplay videos as here we got a little bit lucky he might have been able to get the interception if he was using that middle linebacker a little bit better but thank god it wasn't a pick because that would have been embarrassing so third down and sin we're going to hit Baldwin but he drops the ball unfortunately so we do have to settle for the 42 yard field goal which we do make to take a three to nothing lead so jumping into the second quarter, he rolls out again with Steve. And what is he going to do with Steve? Volt. Volt, what are you doing? So a tip ball lands into the hands of the veteran Brent Grimes. Literally, because he's he has this is a veteran's guard. But we do get our second interception and only our second defensive drive. So first down and 10, have a ton of time in the pocket. Gives us enough time to hit Doug Baldwin down the field with a nasty spin move. It's going to get us within the red zone. So this time, I'm like, dude. Got to get a touchdown. Volt obviously doesn't look like the greatest of opponents thus far. But hey, can't, can't take anybody too lightly. But here, we do get a touchdown. Antonio Brown, like I said, that Nat card is going to be a beast at the beginning of this year's Ultimate Team. As I go for the two-point conversion, wide open. Russell. Russell, please. Russell Okung, please. Got to do better. I've Got to do better than that. I know you're offensive lineman, but that was a little bit pathetic. And here... Volt, what are you doing? So much insane, crazy stuff is going on right now. We have wide open linemen dropping two-point conversions. We have Volt, just, I don't know why he was throwing interceptions every play. I just, I don't know what was his problem. But I'm just going to run with it and be a happy guy. As we're going to scramble here with Steve Young. We know last time we scrambled, we got, we all uh, fumbled the ball. So, ran out of bounds here. But now we do have the ball within the red zone with a 9 nothing lead. Hopefully, I can actually get a touchdown this time. Third down and 10. Play action pass like somebody missed the block. So uh, we got sacked. That's Chris Jones with the sack. As unfortunately, we had to settle for another field goal. But Volt actually moving the ball a little bit here before half. Has 30 seconds left to do something that he hasn't done all like half long. And that's a, a completed drive without throwing an interception. But he finds his receiver. That's his tight end, Rob Gronkowski, up the field. As he now is in field goal range, which uh, I was kind of disappointed. I thought I was going to get a shutout. But 10 seconds left to go. Steve Young is gonna get sacked so uh he ends up actually being able to convert this like 50 yard field goal so he does somehow put up three points against me so now i'm only up by nine he has the ball again first down and 10 volt what are you gonna do he's gonna uh actually have he didn't throw a pick that time but i do get the fumble so things aren't really going volt's way 
I mean, throwing some, some questionable passes, but when he actually throws a little check down, I get the big hit, which there's some crazy big hit animations in today's gameplay. But here, looking for Gronk, who makes the possession catch to get us the ball within the red zone, and dude, at this point, I'm like, man, I've got to score a touchdown. It's just got to happen. And here, got a really lucky on the animation there. Doug Baldwin with the catch in very tight coverage, but we do pick up the first down. But now it's a third and goal. I don't know what to do. Scramble with Steve. Don't want to throw an interception. We get hit. Thank God didn't fumble, but that sets up for a fourth down and goal. And you know what? I'm like, screw it. We're going to go for this. There's no way. Volt goes 98 yards down the field and scores on me. We scramble out to the right. We wait. We wait for the drag to get open. That's going to be Antonio Brown with his second touchdown catch of the game. As that pretty much at this point I would think should do it for Volt. It's 18-3. Somehow he does have the ball at the 11-yard line within the fourth quarter. And he throws a pick. Poor freaking Volt. Poor freaking Volt. So that's like his 103rd pick already in the game, but it's it's not like completely out of the question just yet that he could come back. Here, I told myself no matter what the coverage was, I'm throwing this up to Randy Moss, and he makes the catch. That is one-on-one -on -one coverage against Sean Taylor, one of the best DBs in the game. And that's probably what you see in the title about Randy Moss. Genuinely, Randy Moss is the best card in the game. Out of every card I've used in multiple gameplays, Randy Moss by far is the best. And I say that because if you watch my Mud Squad's gameplay, or just any gameplay with Randy Moss, that man, that's like arcade mode. That is like a receiver playing in arcade mode. So many one-on-one -on -one catches. If it's one-on-one, -on -one, and it's you guys just, I mean, you, you know what to expect at this point. It's just, I, this is just, the game is just turning crazy. It's just a lot of interceptions happening. It just, it is what it is. But throwing the ball to Randy Moss, one-on-one, -on -one, that's going to more than likely give you a catch if you're the receiver. But here, just, I, I, I'm sorry. Like, I don't know what happened to us. But I think we threw a combined 104 interceptions in this game. So if you're looking for top-notch quality professional gameplay, unless we have the best defensive schemes out there and know how to, like, just have the best coverage ever, this probably isn't the place in the video to look for specific incredible gameplay. And at this point, I'm like, dog. I'm going to choke this game away. Why? With how bad Volt is played. Sorry, Volt. You've made some questionable throws. I'm doing the same exact thing. So third and goal here. He throws the underneath route. And he's literally at this point two yards and a two-point conversion away from tying the game when he has six turnovers. Not three, not four, not eight, six. So fourth and goal, I've got to make this stop. Rolling out to his right. Throws the ball across his body, and thank God Volt didn't tie the game. Because if he did, I was going to be upset. So I get, so he gets the ball back somehow. I forget how he does, but he does. He has the ball in the red zone. And this game is just a mess. We get an interception. And guys, that, I, I, the, the, yeah, we, this wasn't the greatest. Wasn't the greatest of decision making for me or Volt. But at the end of the day, I end up somehow, someway getting the win. And in our Madden 19 Creators franchise series with all 32 YouTubers, let's just say I'm going to have a problem against Problem Right. And that's actually hilarious because that wasn't supposed to be a pun. And it ended up being a pun. I'm just a genius. I'm just an absolute genius.